Hello YouTube, and welcome to my uh, first comic haul video. Uh, this one I'm showing the uh, comics that I got from London Film and Comic Con, plus uh, a few eBay tidbits that I got. Let's get started. Got the uh, Old Man Logan storyline here, issue number Focus 68. I uh, got this for three pound fifty. I was quite happy with that. It's in pretty good condition. Only near mint negative. Um, I only need one more, and then I'll have the complete uh, Old Man Logan storyline. Keeping with the Wolverine thing. Wolverine eighty. Uh, this one is the test tube X twenty three appearance. Uh, quite a hot book. I got it for four pound. It's in. Around about the same condition as one I already got, but for £4 I couldn't pass it up. Easy £10 on eBay. The Silver Surfer 38. Uh, nothing special, um, but anything for Thanos is, uh, is sort of going up now, uh, especially with the Infinity Gauntlet film coming out soon. So I thought I'd pick that up. And I got this one as well 37. Drax on the cover. Again, Drax, Thanos, any of those. Characters are still gonna go up in value. Empire of the Dead, number one. I got this for £3. This is an easy £15 book on eBay. Uh, only thing I'd say is this corner. You can see it's slightly dented, but um, for £3, I can't complain. Avengers 260. This is the origin of Nebula. Uh, she'll be playing a bigger part in uh, Guardians Volume 2, so £2 origin story. Can't complain, I'd say maybe um, very fine near mint condition. Now this one, I paid £10 for this book. Now at first it looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing I can say is, you see right here, that's not a tear, that's like a ripple in the cover. Um, but for the age of the book, I'm quite happy with that. It's first, uh, I think, it's Baron Zemo appearance, who's going to be in Captain America Civil War, so £10, can't complain. Nomad issue 4. You can see right here you've got dead, uh, Deadpool. It's a very early Deadpool appearance. Um, I'd say this book is in near mint condition. I did overpay uh, for this book. Uh, simply because at the time I couldn't see any on eBay and you know, it was there, unlike with eBay you can check it out, you can look at it and stuff so I thought hey what the hell, go for it. Guardians of the Galaxy number 12 uh, this is where I believe Phyla Vale becomes uh, Quasar I'm not 100% sure on that, she could be in the next Guardians movie so it's four pound worth the punt. I'd say very fine near mint again. And continuing the movie theme, uh, it's the first appearance of Weasel, I believe, who's going to be in uh, the Deadpool film. Um, believe it or not, this cost me one pound fifty. It was made labelled at three pound, but everything was half price. Along with Avengers three sixteen, this book will be heating up. Uh, this is where Spider-Man first joins the uh, Avengers officially as a team member. Uh, I'd say very fine plus. Again, labelled three pound half price, one pound fifty. Can't complain. <laughs> and you got this bad boy, uh, Captain America, um, three hundred and fifty-nine, which is the first cameo appearance of Crossbones. We know for a fact he will be in uh, the next Captain America movie, Captain America: Civil War. Uh, this is a really, really nice book. Definitely near mint condition. Um, labelled at twenty-nine pound uh, because the guy didn't have any fifty p's. I got it for like fourteen pound. So I am absolutely happy, as Larry, with this one. And I also got Avengers eighty-five. Uh, this is the first uh, Squadron Sinister. I think they're going to be playing a big part in the um, new Marvel comics going forward, um, along with um, the other team. 
I can't remember the name. Uh, it was labelled at very fine near mint. Um, I'm going to say fine. Uh, I paid in total like £11 for it, so I was quite happy considering the age and stuff. Um, as you can see, there's a price stamp there. Uh, the corners, a bit tatty. But overall, for the price I paid, I think I got a pretty good deal. Uh, last book that I got. Mighty Avengers 13. This is the first appearance of the characters uh, that become uh, the Secret Warriors. Uh, no guarantee that the characters they're using here will become uh, the characters they use in the TV series. But um, it's worth picking up. It's £4. I already have two of these, but my other two have quite a lot of uh, spine stress. Um, but this one looks really good, definitely at least a near mint minus. So four pound, I can easily fit this in there right now for, but anywhere between ten, fifteen, twenty pound on eBay. So happy, happy with that. Okay, and while I was there, I got something signed. I got Harley Quinn issue number one. Oh, sorry, issue zero. Issue 1, Issue 2, 3, 5, and 6, which you can still see I have yet to uh, put in a Mylar bag, but everything that I get uh, signed gets a full backboard and uh, put into Mylar. And you see, if it's your sexy signature down here, and he writes it in a small pen. Um, I prefer a sharpie, but you know, that's what he does, I guess. Uh, issue number three, you can see his signature right there. Uh, issue number one, you got to see it in the star. Yeah. Uh, issue number five, down here by Harley's leg. On issue two, he's put it on this little cat's head. I thought that was quite funny. Well, I think it's a cat anyway. And for issue zero up here. Very happy, um, Harding Signature, you know, doing, uh, all the, uh, these, uh, these books, I mean, he hasn't done a few of them, but these are the ones I had, they had, uh, done the art for, so, you know, Chad Harding's gonna be there, you gotta get your Harley Quinn book signed, you know. And continuing on the signed theme, get rid of these ones. Dan Slott was also at London uh, Film and Comic Con, so I got him to sign another six books here. Uh, obviously, number four, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, first appearance of Silk. This is issue number twelve, uh, part of the Spider-Verse. Uh, this is a brilliant cover. I had to get him to sign it. I got him to sign this one in gold because I didn't want to cover up any of these pieces up here. So. You obviously wouldn't be able to sign that bit in black. Uh, issue number seven. Uh, being British, can't not have him sign the uh, Spidey UK uh, Spider-Man issue, so guest starring Miss Marvel. Another one, fantastic cover. I'm sorry that I haven't taken it out of these temporary bags and put them into um, a proper bag, but... I wanted to show them off. This is another fantastic cover. Spider Gwen. Awesome. And then this one again is issue number 14. So I think I've got like 12, 13, 14 all signed in a row. They're uh, just brilliant covers, so had to get them signed. Now, this last one, I am absolutely pissed. The Forbidden Planet issue 1 variant. As you can see, somehow his signature managed to get smudged. I was absolutely livid when I got home and noticed that. Um, back in the day I paid like £13.50 for this book and uh, it's smudged, it's ruined so I wasn't very happy at all. Alright and then let's do some eBay finds. Inhuman issue one. Uh, this is going to be um, 
a book to get with uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3 um, has uh, confirmed that Lash, who first appears in this book, will be in that series, so it's definitely a book to get. I probably overpaid, I reckon, but um, I can't remember how much I paid exactly, but I think it's going to go up, so you know, got to speculate to accumulate. Hulk, I uh, believe Volume 2, Issue 1, first appearance of Red Hulk. Um, lots of rumours that the Red Hulk could be in Civil War, which is what brings the Hulk back uh, into the field. Um, I paid £15. It's in near mint condition, at least. Um, a 9 4, so I'm happy with that. Here's another one from Image Comics that has a. Uh, TV option. Um, I can't remember who's developing it, but um, I think it's Roach Limited. Uh, issue one, paid three pound. Uh, it ten if it turns into a TV series or a movie. Um, that three pound is going to be nothing. It's going to be one for all you X Men fans. Um, I love the X Men. Always have ever since I was a kid watching the animated series. Um, this is uh, New X Men issue 128. Uh, first appearance of Phantom X. I got this along with 29. 29 is like in a very fine negative condition, but I didn't really care because I paid for both of those less than what this one is worth. So I was happy with that. Valiant Comic, uh, Book of Death, uh, issue one. This is the Atomic Comics variant. Um, I paid $5 for this plus. I think it was another fifteen dollars for uh, shipping over from the states. Um, yeah, I mean, I really wanted it. I, I've definitely, with including shipping, overpaid. But um, I haven't seen any of these on eBay UK, so I thought I'd get one for myself. It's a pretty cool cover. And uh, you never know. Um, Valiant's got five movies coming out, maybe in the next five to ten years. So, Bloodshot one. Harbinger 2, oh sorry, Harbinger 1, Bloodshot 2, Harbinger 2, and then it all culminates in Harbinger Wars, so you never know, Book of Death may be um, the one after that. And keeping on Book of Death, the Book of Death Legends of the Geomancer, issue 1. Now, this one, to get this, uh, retailers had to order 25 copies of the normal cover of. Book of Death issue one. I uh, paid twenty six pound for this from uh, Comic Beast store on eBay. Um, I was quite annoyed because when I looked this morning, uh, the one they had just for sale, not bid, has now gone down to seventeen ninety nine. Uh, if it's still there, I recommend you get it because this is the first of its kind, um, and it could be a really hot book. Daredevil, uh, 176, uh, is very fine condition. Um, this one's important because it's the first appearance of Stick. Uh, anyone who's seen the Daredevil series will know um, the importance of Stick. Um, I can only see this book continually going up as more and more people watch the series. Kazar 17. Um, I can't remember the exact name of the character who first appears in this book but it will be the one that um, Freeman will be playing in um, Civil War uh, well rumoured to be playing um, pay like three pounds for this so if he doesn't turn up to be that character then it doesn't really matter this one is uh, Incredible Hulk 104 uh, 400, sorry, and uh, 49. Uh, I got this along with issues uh, 440 up. Um, I only really bought it for this one. I paid 6.99 plus three pound postage and packaging for all of them. Um, so basically, the, for the price of the postage, I got the other books. I uh, can't really complain about that. It's first appearance of the uh, Thunderbolts. Uh, I don't think they'll end up being in a Marvel movie, but you never know. 
Next we have uh, the Wicked and Divine. This is a variant cover. Um, I paid five pound for this. Uh, happy as Larry. Uh, I've been trying to get this for a little while now. Um, I met the author Kieran Gillen at um, London Super Comic Con. Really nice uh, bloke. I uh, pretty much started to buy everything that he has written. <laughs> um, yeah. And it, this is unlike any of the other Wicked and Divine covers. There is not a single cover that is like this, so, and we never know, movie. Speaking of, this is an important book to get. This is uh, Uncanny X-Force Volume 1, uh, Issue 17. Uh, as you know, for the Age of Apocalypse movie, um, Psylocke will become becoming Death, I believe, uh, and in this issue, she does become, well, she sort of starts out the issue as uh, Death. But in, in the issue before, she's laying on the table and nothing happens. So this would be the one that you'd say is the where she becomes um, death. So, yeah. Dark Angel Saga, Chapter 17. Pick it up where you can. Paid £3. Um, very fine negative. Can't complain with that. I probably should have done these in more of an order. But back to the Daredevil. Um, I know it's not Daredevil, but it's the Punisher... Uh, issue 10, but this is where Daredevil and the Punisher have a fight. Um, you can read Daredevil's side of this story in, uh, I believe it's Daredevil 257. Um, but yeah, with the Punisher being in uh, Daredevil Season 2, uh, I can only see this going up. Pay £10. Uh, it's near mint condition. I'm very happy with that. Continuing the theme of Netflix. Boom. Alias issue one, near mint copy. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this. It's definitely undervalued. Um, so I was really happy with that. Spawn issue nine from Image Comics. This is the first appearance of Angela. This is um, say a very fine plus copy. Um, I think with uh her appearance in Marvel Comics, possibly being in uh, a Marvel movie, most likely Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I really think this is a book that everyone should be trying to get out of. Continuing with Image Comics. We Stand On Guard. I paid cover price for not just this one, but another five. No, another four, sorry. Um, Unfortunately, two of them came damaged, so I had to send them back. So I've still got this one for uh, myself, and then two that I can sell on. Um, really hot book. Uh, I think the market started to slow down now, so maybe now would be a good time to buy yourself maybe one or two copies. Spider Girl Zero. Um, not really much I can say about this book. Um, I think most of you know the story, uh, Ultimate re uh, Different Reality, where um, Peter Parker and Mary Jane had a child. Uh, she ended up becoming uh, a Spider Girl. Uh, it's issue zero. Paid £3. Uh, near mint condition. Can't complain. And continuing with Spider Women themed. This is Spider Gwen, volume f uh, issue 5. I believe this is San Diego Comic Con variant. Um, yeah, I paid sixteen pounds something with postage and packaging, so I'm happy with that. Okay, I uh, hope you all enjoyed my uh, video. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you all soon.